Hi, welcome to this Corporate Maths primary video on pie charts. So in this video, we're going to look at how to answer some questions based on reading pie charts. So here we've got a pie chart and the pie chart shows the colors of sweets in a bag. So we've got yellow sweets, white sweets, red sweets and pink sweets. And the first question says, which color of sweet is the most common? So as you can see, yellow has got the biggest section of the pie chart. So that means that yellow is the most common sweet. Right, the next question says, there are 60 sweets in the bag, how many are yellow? Now the yellow section takes up half of the pie chart, so that means that half of the sweets are yellow. So if we just do 60 divided by two, we'll get the answer and that's 30. So 30 sweets are yellow. The next question says, how many sweets are white? Well, white is a quarter of the pie chart, so that means that a quarter of the sweets are white. So we just need to do 60 divided by four. And if we have 60, that's 30, and half it again, we'll get the answer, which is 15. So our next question. Our next question shows us a pie chart, and we've got the eye colors of 24 people. So we've got green, blue, and brown. So the first question says, which eye color is the least common? So as you can see, green is the least common because it's the smallest section. And if it's the smallest section, it means that the least number of people are gonna have green eyes, so green. Our next question. The next question says, how many people have green eyes? So as you can see, it's a quarter. So if we do 24 divided by four, we'll see how many people have green eyes. So 24 divided by four is six. So six people have green eyes. The next question says, how many people have blue eyes? So this section has got an angle of 120 degrees. So that means it's a third of a circle. And the reason I know it's a third of a circle is if we count up the angles, 120, 240 and 360, we can see that 120 fits into a full circle three times. So that means that that's a third of a circle. And to get a third off the number of people, so we're gonna divide 24 by three. And if we divide 24 by three, we'll see eight people have blue eyes. So the last question says, how many people have brown eyes? So we had six with green and we had eight with blue. So to work out how many have brown, we just need to add together the six and the eight, so that's equal to 14. So 14 have got green or blue. And all together there's 24. So if we just do 24 take away 14, we'll see that's equal to 10. So that means that 10 people have got brown eyes, and that's it. 